I'm not convinced that you guys actually like me. You all just want to see me suffer. Good evening, good morning, and good day. And thank you so much for once again choosing to spend a little bit of your time with me. In the news today, well, I'm not actually sure. It's been a little while since I looked at the news. I've been far too busy arguing with incels the last few days. And honestly, it's been months since I had a look at r slash I'm a total piece of shit because it just isn't that good for my mental health. You guys keep asking for it, so together, let's have a look at the news. Yes. A woman is caught coughing at a man during an argument over coughing etiquette on a, tra on a Sydney train. <laughs> Coronavirus, guys. It's, it's, it's Corona fever fever. <laughs> Have you got Corona fever fever? Honestly, this guy's not in the wrong. This old hag is just being an absolute fucking bitch. Imagine if they treated something like this like they treat infecting somebody with HIV or AIDS. You could go to jail for life. Now, I'm not saying purposely coughing on people should get you sent to jail for life, but a stern telling off by the law, perhaps. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm going to have to cancel my art raffle because my parents destroyed my art tablet. It's been smashed into pieces because I didn't get up on time this morning. I can't do art now, one of the only things that I love. I can't even afford to replace it. It's really the worst when people that are meant to be giving somebody every advantage and opportunity in life are the ones destroying it. But sadly, that is the reality that far too many people live in, and so I can only pray for your sakes that you successfully move out soon. I don't know how old you are, but one day you will be free of that. Therapy dog stolen from girl with autism found dead. What the fuck? But I'm not that surprised because the sort of person to steal a dog from a young girl who has autism, but for somebody's fucking therapy dog, isn't exactly the sort of person who's going to care about that animal's life. All I can hope is that the perpetrator is arrested and that they are sentenced very, very heavily for that. I fear they probably will be let off far too lightly for a crime like this. Ah, just a classy classic prank to blow up on TikTok or Instagram. Destroying somebody's day and the shop for the lows. For the shares. Aren't you cool? This woman made her fennec box a carnival be vegan. This stupid bitch also ignored professionals with degrees, telling her it wasn't possible to keep it healthy with what she was doing. She has made this poor animal blind in one eye, along with several other disabilities. Oh my god. My poor lost haired baby. He was improving during the past month, but lost his hair again due to the same allergy. I think we finally got what it is, but we're gonna start again with the regrowing hair treatment. Do not put obligate carnivores on vegan diets. You stupid, self-righteous fucking twats. And this is yet again another reason why I fucking hate veganism. I'm sorry to my vegan subscribers. I'm really sorry, guys, because I love every single one of you. But, oh, unless you are a vegan for your own specific dietary requirements, then I'm sorry. You're destroying the planet and helping feed into a mindset, a cult mentality that leads to people killing their babies and pets. Honestly, seriously, the best thing you can do if you care about the planet and if you care about lovely animals is stop buying mass-produced meat and start buying meat from a local farm and from a proper butcher's. Start buying your milk from a local farm and a, or, or a proper dairy farm or at least the expensive good stuff at the local supermarket because if you're buying it from somewhere like Waitrose, that gold top unhomogenized, those cows are treated beautifully. If we start eating this way, and we start eating reasonably and, and not abusing the planet, then we'll be fine. What will literally kill us, well, not me, but your children, is feeding them a vegan diet. What will kill your cats, what will not necessarily kill, but severely destroy the enjoyment and happiness they can have in life of your dogs, 
is giving them a vegan diet. It is one of the cruelest, most unnecessary fucking things you can do to an animal. Do some research into the things that you fucking profess to love. But this piece of shit bought all the toilet paper and is selling them at an upmarket price on Facebook groups amid COVID-19 outbreak. Just bought out the rest of the toilet paper and Weber in Davis County, working my way up to SLC, supply and demand. I'm like the Grinch who stole toilet paper. That is a truckload of toilet paper and that's what people are doing in my local area too. And it's really fucking annoying because we're always out of toilet paper and not a single store has any. You absolute fucking twats. Dickheads. Just seriously, shame on you, shame. You dickhead. Why would you have a vehicle that does that? Oh my God. What is wrong with some people? You're just a cunt. I feel like this video and my recent incel stuff is probably going to destroy any chance of me getting monetized. So, this is a great opportunity for you to help out me! <laughs> I've started a subscribe start, so if you fancy lending me just $2 a month and helping me out, not lending, giving, then I would be incredibly grateful. In return, you'll get access to my Discord and some other cool stuff. I'm going to be putting some extra videos on there. We'll make shit happen. But if you want to support me and you want me to stay authentic to Grandad's Lounge and to what we've created here, and you don't want me to stop fucking swearing, then I am going to need your help. Do me a favor, you cunt. Fudging hell! What is wrong with you, you s Oh my god! No! Yeah, that would have straight up murdered him. That would have just been clean to the back of the head, dead. Oh, it's a good thing that the last bit of humanity and intelligence within her stopped her at that last instant. Because that would have been a fun way to send yourself to jail for the rest of your life. A prank on the teacher. Ah! Endangering your baby for a few Instagram likes. Bruh. What the fuck are you doing? You stupid twat. Not only are you using your child for clout on the internet, one of the things that I most fucking hate in this world, but you're endangering not only hers, but your life as well. How could anyone think that this is a good idea? Driving with a, without seatbelts, speeding with a baby without a seatbelt, in a convertible, oh my fucking god. And then uploading it to the internet. All I can hope is that somebody forwards this over to, to social services, child protective services, or the police. And again, I don't think it's right for kids to be taken away from their parents, but oh my gosh, you need some education. You need to be forced into night classes to teach you about responsibility and how to be a fucking adult. Brian Ortega has been thrown out of UFC 248 after slapping K-pop star and Korean zombie translator Jay Park. <laughs> Korean rapper Jay Park got assaulted by Brian Ortega on Saturday night because he translated some smack talk for Chan Sung Joon in a recent interview. What is wrong with you, Brian? You never heard Don't Shoot the Messenger? Jesus! This is awesome. This now means I can have K-pop and UFC in the tags. <laughs> Someone decided the kids in my hometown don't deserve a new playground today. That is sad. That is cruel. That's one of those just unnecessary meannesses that really makes you question the decency of our, of our current society. People can just be pricks. If you let a little cheating ruin your relationship, you're a pussy. Oh no, oh no, wrong, wrong voice. This is a visco girl. 
If you like let a little cheating ruin your relationship, you're a pussy. <laughs> Was it uh <laughs> and are you <laughs> I'm joking, can't everyone stop crying? Nah, that's the sort of thing that's gonna piss people off. No joke. Like some of us support monogamy pretty hard. And when you've experienced cheating and the effects it has on people, you stop finding it that funny. Kenya's only white female giraffe and her calf have been killed by poachers. Go fuck yourself. Seriously. Why do people do these things? What the fuck is wrong with you? I like how they've been dealing with poachers recently in SA, where they've been arming their anti-poachers with RPGs. Because the poachers got smart, you know, they started using helicopters and the like. And so they were like, right, if they're using helicopters, we're going to blow their fucking helicopters out of the sky. Because these sick scumbags are going to make it impossible for future generations to have any understanding of some of the most majestic creatures that walked our planet. Literally be like dinosaurs and dodos to them. And that is fucking appalling. How about that, vegans? How about you go move to Central Africa and South Africa and go help the fight against poachers? That would be a worthwhile use of your time. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna do it for me. There's only so much shit that a man can trawl through. If you enjoyed this and you haven't yet subscribed, what the fuck are you waiting for? Hurry up. Go click that bell icon. Because if you don't, break it into your room at night, bending you over my knee, sprinkling that bottom. And please drop me a comment, because I always reply eventually at some point in time. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.